morning. Ah. It's the 20th of October 2012 and it's just about 7 o'clock in the morning. I should be getting ready for Brussels and Flanders and practicing on lambics. But, well, Newport doesn't have any lambics. Well, not that I've found anyway. So I'm thinking Tiny Rebel. I'm definitely thinking Tiny Rebel. This guy. Ah, and here's my bus stop. And the dentist. That's a nice photo. Calm and still Newport. This is for later. And over there, Starbucks for now. Quick before the cream sinks and traffic sham gets on the bushes. So, this is where I'm going to start today. And inside, I can see a Christmas tree. This cannot be right. What about Halloween? Oh, that's not mention it. By Jiminy, I haven't been here since February, and they've now got the tables at the very back, which I like. And the bar is now open from eight o'clock, which I like. And this is PG Steam by RCH 3.9, 3.8 and alcohol by volume. That's a bit of. However, oh, Mr. Manning, look at the carpet. That's very good. That is very, very good. Um, touch of fun. Just a touch of citrus. And really nice and bitter. Not much body, but. Recipe plus plus, and the color correction has kicked in now. And this is number two, and there's a full English on the way. And I like this not because it's a great beer, it's an alright beer because the design was painted on the roofs of many local pubs. It's Hobby Horse from the Rummy Brewery, which is in Blind Avon, 3.8% alcohol by volume. Welsh Dragon, backwards. Actually, it's not bad. It's a creamy head, nice body, and um, bitter, sessional. Yeah, B plus. There is something about your full English bracky, and toast, and extra butter, and a raw tomato. This is, I like it. Thank you. And number three, also from the Rummy Brewery, Rummy Bitter. I don't know what the name is. This is 4.5% alcohol by volume. Look at that carpet, Mr. Manning. A nice, honest to goodness, slightly stronger version of Hobby Brewers. Keep it. Authentic Thai cuisine and tiny rebel beers. Door to the left. So that's the bar. And if you have a look in the centre, that bar dot, that's oddly. Anyway. Indoor League and Tiny Rebel in a pint glass. Okay, so this is Billabong, which is an Australian summer ale, golden ale, I would say, 4.6% alcohol by volume. New to me. Wow, very, very lemony. 
totally new and easily very mindless well done tiny rebel boys as there is no wi-fi here um, you can see my wi-fi and to the right and the landlord is a bit concerned so he gave me a little bit to try first this is Otley's Croissant 4.2 percent alcohol by the way <coughs> and it's not clearing although it does taste wonderful mm. I think it would be a golden ale Settle the lemony taste. I'm gonna give it a B plus plus. It's very nice. Um, with a bit of luck and a following wind, they'll be at the beer festival in the Otley Arms next week. Hats off to quality brews. Hats off to quality local brews. And we are back on the tiny rebel. This time it's Kutch, a great Welsh name, 4.6% alcohol by volume, and another new bean for me. What is it? Great Welsh bean inside a festival, could have been. Anyway. Oh, definitely over. Plus, really hot plus. You see, the thing is with the tiny rebel boys, taste is important. A minus, almost a.